Yeah. Good day, everyone. Um, welcome to today's uh, class. And in today's class, we are going to discuss still the same um, GCE, the same uh, GCE past questions and answer. Those are the things we are going to consider. And for this, we will be considering question under electricity. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch this video to the end. Ask questions where necessary. Now, back to business. We have the question in this form. I got this from the internet. It's a wide question. I think either 2017 or 18 or so. So I got this from the internet and then um, I decided to make a copy of it. Now, in this we have the we have the resistor given as two ohms. This is like a constantan wire, exactly. And we have the galvanometer. We have the potential meter, exactly. So the cell, the key, and the relay start. So what we are going to do is we will measure. Normally, if we are to carry out this particle in the lab, after placing the jockey here you measure from here to here that means you read from this point to this point do you get that and also read from this point to 100 that means you have a b you have to read a b as x x m and b c as x m do you understand that now we'll come into the practical in proper now now we have this when I got the question from the internet, there was a kind of mistake. The mistake is this. This is supposed to be R1 equal to Xn all over Xm times R. This R is the resistor, which is the 2 ohm that we have up here. Do you understand that? Now, we have to measure, we say read and record the diameter D1 and D2. Exactly. The diameter D1 and D2 will be read from from the from the micrometer screw gauge. You get that? But this is not clear, so we cannot read it because it's not clear. So I'm going to skip that aspect of it. Now, maybe I will have a kind of special teaching on how to read. Uh, micrometer screw gauge and also vernier caliper. Now, in this case, it says measure and record XMI and the corresponding the corresponding uh, XNI for W1. Now, if we are to do that, you know we are provided with um, with this. Do you understand that? That is why I said in my last class that uh, long ruler is always welcome in GCE practical. Don't make the mistake of taking in a um, um, short ruler. That will not measure length like this. Exactly. Now, to make this, we are going to measure. Do you understand that? We are going to measure. And the measurement will look in this form. We are going to measure. I'm going to put my table here. Exactly. I'll put my table here. All right, I'm going to put my table here. And in this case, in this case, there are different things we are going to place on uh, the table which is according to what is given to us are you with me now if you look at that they say we should evaluate the measure and record xmi and 
the corresponding value of um, x n x n i is that clear for w1 w1 the w1 now is the first that's the first one why is he going to do that for the second one but for this first one we are going to get the table in this form so we have the x m we have the x m so this x m you know don't forget i have told you before that you must always replace him your serial number we have six different digits now to get the xm replace your ruler xm that is if you go back to the if you go back to the diagram xm is ab ab is xm why bc is um, xm so ab that means between here and here exactly between here and here so if you measure if you make the measurement you place it remember we are starting it from zero place it on zero on zero so after placing it on zero you now begin to take your reading according to what we have here we have the first one which is B1. Do you understand that? So this B1, that's the first value. The B1, if we are to read it, that is 6. That is 6.6. 6. Are you getting me? That is 6.6. Where this where the, the black uh, the black ink is 6.6. Exactly. So you note it down as 6.60. Always take it to two decimal places. Why the next one? The next one is. That next one is 7. Still the same thing 7.6 if you if you check it very well okay 7.5 that is 7.5 you also take it take the recording 7.50 then the next one is 7.9 7.9 also take the reading that is the third one which is 7.90 now come to the next one you take the reading which is 9 9. Point, this is 9.15 because it is between okay is 9.2 9.2 so we also come here we record 9.20 then the fifth one that's b5 that's 9.12345 9 9.6 is in between 6 and 7 so you can see 9.65 9 that is 9.65 then the last reading which is 10.25 is between 2 and 3 10.25 10.25 did you understand that so we have gotten xm but this xm we can't just leave it like that we will convert it we have converted values exactly but before we move to converted values we will also find the value of bc we are going to find this bc will not be from this point to the end from here to the end so i'm going to change the position of the ruler of the ruler do you understand that and uh, if i change it 
so that this will be 100 okay let's take it from here let me position it very well all right so if we read it from up if we take it from up down exactly we'll just assume that in between you understand because if you look at it here the reading is from here to here so you are not going to say maybe 50 something 60 something or all the like you just read in between this place now here we have here we have the first one here if we are taking this side as 10 as 0 this is 10 20 30 40 50 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 do you understand that 90 100 so that 100 that i just said is 10 so it means if this is 10 if this is 10 that is that is an one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So here now we have this to be nine. This is going to be nine. Nine point. Nine point five point six point seven. Nine point seven. That is XM. 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 9.70. Now, if we read the second one, the second one will be. That's 9. Second one will be. I've decided to change the position of. As we get it better so this is the first one here is this is 11 exactly this is 11 so if this is 11 we have this place to be 10 so this is 10 exactly so we have 9 so this is 9.7 we have recorded that before 9.7 why the next one now is if that is 9.7 the next one is this is 9 so this is 8 8 8.56789 that's 8.8 so the next one will be the third one will be 8.1235 so the next one will be that's the third one the next one will be that is an 8.35 so this is 7 Seven, seven point. This is seven point one. Seven point one. Record seven point one seven. Why the fourth one? That's number four. That's number four. The fifth one now. Fifth one will be six. Six. This is six point one two three four five. Six point six five. It's in between six and seven point six and point seven. Six point six five. Six. Six point six five. The last one now is. The last one is. Look at where it is. 
that is six on the dot. Six on the dot. Six point zero zero. Now, what we need to do here now is this: we will need to go by the converted value. What I meant by converted value is, if you check under this, the scale is five centimeter. Here also is five centimeter. So we are taking one centimeter to represent five centimeter. So in this case, since one centimeter is equal to five centimeter, we are going to multiply each of these by five. That is what I meant by converted value. So it's going to be convert x converted as converted converted. You now write x m. You can make this one longer. X m. Then x m. So make this one longer as well. So these two now we can say they are the converted values. Do you understand that? This we have done now is table one. We also have table two. That table two, this one now, if you multiply by five, each of these one we multiply by five and we be placing the values times five, times five, times five, times five. Then the second phase will be for the second diagram, which is this. That one will give us another XM. We will still get another XM. Don't forget, I forgot something here. Centimeter. Centimeter. Don't forget to put it because if you forget it, if you forget it, you lose map. Centimeter, centimeter. So we have another X M. We have another X M in centimeter. Then we we'll also have another converted value. Converted value. Now in this case, we have X M centimeter we also have x n still centimeter you understand so at the end of the day if you check what is given to us they said we should evaluate r1 r1 which is x n over x m times r so here we have r1 which is equal to x n over x m times r we also have r2 which is equal to the same x n over x m times r in this case you are using the converted values the converted which is all this we have no business with the other values this value now we have used this one to get our converted values do you understand that now maybe i will complete the table or you can complete the table yourself do you understand that since you have gotten the principle the process on how to go about it i think that one alone is paramount that is an important thing you need to know how to use your ruler exactly to get um, values that will be given to you do you understand that? Now we will see in our next class. And remember, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Watch the video to the end so that you can have a kind of a great benefit. Do you understand that? So see you in our next class. Bye for now.